So that's Mini Cakes coming back with another video. Today I want to get into some sneakers that are decade old that seems to be still holding some value. Seems to be uh, some issues today where people don't know what shoes to buy. So now the thing is to look at all the sneaker resale apps and see which one is worth a dollar and which one isn't. And the ones that they consider that is not worth a dollar, they call bricks. So it's important for me to teach you to select shoes that are not bricks and that can maintain for decades a value. Because I come from the system where we didn't have systems to tell us what's a good shoe and what's a bad shoe, which shoe has value and which shoe doesn't. Let's get into it. Bam! I suppose you may may not know what this shoe is. This is a Jordan 6, Jordan 6 Lakers, aka Jordan 6 Kobe. This particular Jordan 6, I don't know if the camera will show, has the purple and yellow stitching all throughout the shoe. You can see the purple and yellow stitching there, guys. You can also see the purple and yellow stitching in the air section here. This shoe happened to be a 2010 shoe. And this shoe happened to be maintaining its value, guys. I actually paid $100 for this particular shoe from an outlet. So, it's very important, guys. You have to know the culture to be able to select the shoe, right? You guys are reading all the people and all the vlogs and all the, the YouTubers telling you what shoe to buy. Guess what? I already know what shoes to buy and which ones are going to maintain decades. Let's get into it. So this particular shoe, like I said, is a Jordan 6, a.k.a. L.A. Jordan 6, a.k.a. Kobe. And this was an outlet find. Bam. I love this shoe. I think this is a, this is a very, very nice Jordan 6. The materials on this particular shoe is 100% authentic and 100% the suede on here being 10 years old is unbelievable. Yes, I wear my shoes. I did wear these. Guys got any shoes this old? Bam! I do because I've been collecting for a long time. Let me show you another shoe. Now, this particular shoe is also 12 years old, and to me, it's a well made shoe, still holding up, no cracking. Bam! The phone posit zoom rookie. Penny Hardaway. This is a shoe that's holding its value, guys. This shoe is still two hundred something dollars, three hundred dollars today. And this shoe is also a twelve-year-old shoe. Again, you have to know what shoes to buy. And when I was purchasing shoes back then, there was there was no app sites at that time. I had to know which shoe I wanted to get and which shoe I thought was going to maintain some value. There was no research. Guys, stop depending on the apps. Depend on yourself. Depend on your knowing the culture of sneakers. You should be able to look at these shoes and know which shoe is going to hold a value. Which shoe is going to be worth something five to ten years down the road. 
bam. I don't need no app help. I know which shoes are valuable. This is 13 years old, and this is particular shoe here is 12 years old. And guess what? They have value. This video is basically about maintaining and understanding value of shoes by looking at them and not relying on applications, guys. Get back to the nitty gritty. Know your shoes. Telephony Kicks coming back with another video. Bam! Telephony Kicks coming back with another video. Telephony Kicks is coming back with another vid. Telephony Kicks.